In today's video, we are product testing Meaden in metallic. I have never used these paints before today, and I have to tell you that once I saw these paints on the canvas, I knew that I did not go wrong. They sent me these products to test with an honest review. So that is what we're gonna do today. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna get you down on the canvas, and we're gonna get this thing worked out. I will have a true product review test to let you know the results of the painting and what I thought of the paints. I'm excited to do this for meeting and let's get busy. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Bliss and I am testing some paints. Meaden sent me some paints. They sent me all kinds of paints, uh, but I'm going to test out, product test the metal heavy body acrylic paint that they sent me. So it's all metallic and I have mixed these up. They are metallic silver black. I have a metallic silver, a really pretty metallic cerulean blue. I have a metallic white, a metallic deep gold. It's really pretty, super pretty. And a metallic wine red, which is like a copper, but it's pretty. But I'm going to, I've repurposed a canvas. I just painted it black. It's been painted for a while. I didn't know what to do with it, but um, now I do. I'm just going to puddle these paints down on my canvas, and then I'm going to use Amsterdam Titanium White mixed with Australian Floetrol as a cell activator, and we're going to swipe over the metallic metallics so let's just get busy now I mix these paints I put a half an ounce of the heavy body acrylic paint in the cup and then I filled it um, to almost like that far of the cup with Floetrol and I added about 0.1 ounce of water so hopefully they are thin enough but not too thick so let's see how we're going to like these paints so I'm just going to, just gonna get enough on my canvas. We're just gonna make puddles. Hopefully I have enough paint. Just get one more, maybe one more. A small one. Then we're gonna go with the gold. I have no rhyme or reason of how I'm putting these on here. I'm just kind of filling in gaps. Hopefully we'll have enough paint. I think I have enough. This is the metallic cerulean blue. Metallics are a lot of fun to work with. Big canvas, this is a 12 by 24. We've got metallic silver and metallic silver black left. I love testing new products. And I was so excited when Meaden reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to test some of their products for them. I do have a discount code in my description box, so you can go there and get you a discount if you want to try them out. So the heavy body goes a long way. Um, like I said, I mixed half an ounce to about three and a half ounces of Floetrol. So what is that? Uh, six parts Floetrol to one part paint? Something like that? All right, I'm going to torch, which I mixed all these colors yesterday, so I shouldn't have very many bubbles. Pretty, pretty. So let's wreck this first. I'm just gonna take this uh, little silicone tool I have and I'm just gonna kind of go through this a little bit. Let's just see what we get. There, just a little bit of doodlings inside it. Now, let's take our white and apply it to the back of our tool and uh, see where we wanna go with this. I'm so messy with this stuff. Tends to hold on pretty good though, so I just want to get it all over my tool here. And these um, meat and paints are pretty reasonable, so let's hope they hold up and see how they work out. All right, so I'm going to start from here and work my way down. Pretty. Wow. Look at those cells. They hold up. That's beautiful. You guys let me know if you have used um, the meat in products and what you think about them. I'm going to come from up here and go this way. Y'all love that. 
and take this and maybe um, try to get like right in here. I think everything else will be tilted off. Okay, let's see. Um, it's kind of kind of like using this little one. So let's try to make a few little passes with it. And get on the other side of my table. Do the same thing, but this way. There we go. Pretty pretty. All right. So this is every single metallic paint in that metallic paint set. There's six different colors. So let's uh, this stuff moved out of the way, and we can start tilting this off. I don't think I need to anymore. Very heavy canvas. All right. Okay. I think I have enough paint. Just gonna kind of move it. Very pretty. Um, look up here a little bit. I'm trying to get it off the sides. Oh, it's pretty. Just hope these cells stay together. That is cool. So it's got a little wonky over here. It's because I had to stretch it so far, but really amazing. Sides look amazing. Just trying to get some of this paint from underneath. Oh, it's pretty guys. It's pretty. Just see how it holds up. This is so pretty. Beautiful. I love it. And I got enough off because there wasn't that much left. I mean, I almost didn't have enough paint. Um, hoping that these cells stay in place. Um, I'll torch it once, but I don't think I'm going to torch it after that. There. That's good. And I'm going to get you guys down, and uh, we're going to look at this a little closer, but it's gorgeous. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous. Love it. All right. Stay this painting is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. I will do a flyover for you. The details, the cells, the paint surely held up to the technique. I just absolutely am thrilled with the result. I have not finished it with any top coat or anything like that. It is just amazing. I will say for this review, the Meaden paint is definitely a paint I would use again and again and again. Thank you guys for watching and being with me for this product review and test. I give it 10 out of 10 for my budget, for my results, and for the company itself. And take a look at these shots. This is absolutely beautiful. I love how the cells and the structure of the cells I love the lacing over the sides. It did not vanish. It did not sink in. It stayed on top. The cells stayed intact and it is a beautiful piece.